oh man, I need to get a haircut. Yes, I am going to get a haircut tomorrow. It's been a long time coming with this hair, man. The older you get, the worse your hair texture gets. So, Moon Jupiter in the 8th house of your birth chart. Let's talk about that. It's a very simple thing. And I got to let you know, I uploaded the video on uh, second part to Secrets of Ascendance on Curious Vlogs, uh, where you can learn how to just make a strong instant prediction on any ascendant. But I'm going to go through ascendance too. So tomorrow I'm going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow's what, Wednesday? So Wednesday, Thursday, I might do, uh, I will probably do the Gemini Ascendant on Karis Vlogs. So anyway, Moon and Jupiter conjunction. Okay. In the eighth. See, the way to understand astrology is always use the significance of the planets and the significance of the house together and you'll know astrology in an instant. Forget even the lords. Like if let's say somebody's saying Moon Jupiter is in the eighth house, I wouldn't want to know even their ascendant now. Because I know Jupiter rules the Jupiter is a significator of the second house. Wealth, money, family, fifth house, children, speculation, ninth house, luck, bhagya, religion, eleventh house, gain, marketplace. Moon is a significator of the fourth house of home, land, real estate, along with Mars, because it is mother. Moon is also the significant of food and money. Moon is wealth. Because moon rules the nakshatra of all the artha houses of wealth and money and work. So once you see this in the 8th house, naturally you see that a person will be very much attracted towards banking, financial advising, speculation, you know, like, like stock market and if Mars is their sports betting, if Rahu is their cryptocurrency. So if let's say Rahu is influencing this conjunction, one will be into cryptocurrency. One is also always, you will see, with Moon, Jupiter in the 8th house, they're always looking for loopholes, legal loopholes to kind of like get maximum money, save maximum money. Moon Jupiter in the 8th house shows mother will teach you rituals in your life. Mother becomes the significator of actually getting, getting you started in things like occult and mysticism. Mother will teach you how to deal with money, how to deal with debts. But if, let's say, this conjunction of Moon and uh, Saturn has Rahu on, let's say, 12th house from this particular conjunction, then you will see such people will not have an idea of how to deal with debts. They think debt is happening. Oh, credit card. Oh, I'll spend money on this credit card. I'll think about it later, how to pay it off. I'm sure I'll figure it out the way. Oh, there's another credit card. Well, this one was 8,000. Now this one is $25,000. Boom. I'm going to do this and I'm going to take this money from this credit card, invest it and do this. What happens here? And this is one of the biggest drawback of this conjunction not having a sense of debt until it's too late where the person may have to file for bankruptcy because moon and jupiter's wisdom is in the eighth house in the darkness it cannot see what it's accumulating see jupiter will be able to see the second house 12th house of expenses fourth house of happiness and home Moon will simply impact the second house. They cannot see what's happening in the sixth house. Debt is racking up and they become oblivion to it or they do not want to know about it. So it becomes important that, you know, especially with moon and Jupiter in the eighth house, you take the least amount of debt in your life. Because remember, here's the thing about debt. Whether you owe somebody money, whether you take, you know, um, borrow money from family, 
you take money on credit card, you don't pay it back. Unless, of course, you legally take care of it. But if you don't, what happens is you're going to have to pay that back in your next life. So, you know, like, for example, you will see people for two, three years, young people doing internship at banks. They're not making any money. They're just learning the ropes. They're what they're and they're grinding because they feel like, OK, if I'm working eight, nine hours for free, maybe in like a year or so or six months or so, they will hire me permanently. But you know what is happening in the name of internship? They're paying their past life debt that they owe to the bank owe to the person. Maybe they're working in a private office of some individual. They're like, oh, you want to learn from me? I'll hire you. And it's a reputable office. So if a person puts it in their resume, you know, it'll help them get more employment. This is how these things work. On the other hand, um, this most definitely brings in one of the best situations for gaining through joint assets where you don't have to be the person who becomes like a sole provider. Your spouse will provide. You both will accumulate wealth together. Now, if somebody is a sole provider, it doesn't mean that they're at a disadvantage. Maybe they make more than both of you and they're providing for the same thing. So never, never compare these situations. But just know, you'll get the most benefits from spouse and their family. Especially like unafflicted Jupiter will bring in great you know, opportunities to make big money through spouse's family. Maybe your father-in-law says, hey, listen, I wanna get you on this thing and in this investment. If you do this, I'll let you run this. And you're like, yes, I'll do that. These opportunities, there's this benefits that come in. But of course, there's always the drawbacks as well. Ignorance arrogance comes in but also yes jupiter moon in the eighth influence of malefics can bring when little things happen big depression and anxiety comes in like oh my god my world is falling apart you dated somebody for a month and break up with you, you feel like oh my god my world is falling apart what do i do why because jupiter's job is to expand a particular planet and its qualities and the sign of that quality so moon is about emotions. And if emotions are not balanced and they're with Jupiter, they're only going to get expanded on the wrong side, not on the right side. Okay. So guys, this was my analysis of Jupiter moon conjunction in the eighth house. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. If you don't know where your Jupiter moon are placed, all my books, reports, consultations, check out the links here, careastrology.com under shop section. Where you'll find all my consultations. And also remember, within two, three weeks, Vastu lessons are coming to Keras uh, Magavidic Astrology Academy, pretty much. All right, better.